Hello everybody. So I'm going to tell you something very cool. You can cure bacteria infections with viruses. And uh, it's something that has been used, and it's used not so much all over the world. Uh, and it's a very cool thing that you can cure bacteria infections in your body or even in your fields or on your animals, on your, I don't know what, on your yogurt that you're growing has gotten some illnesses or your mushrooms, whatever has a bacteria infection can be cured with certain viruses. The principle is very simple. They, there are viruses that infect bacteria and kills them. And, uh, and inhibits their growth or more simply kills them. So what you can do is uh, find in nature viruses that kill uh, bacteria that you want to kill. And that way nature um, does the job for you and you don't need to use antibiotics. And uh, somebody will say, well, why don't they use such uh, technology in hospitals? Uh, where I live, uh, maybe, I don't know, in, in the U.S. or in Europe, in the rich Western world, or elsewhere. Well, the reason is that um, this technology was uh, a cutting-edge technology for the Russians, and um, when the Ru Soviet Union collapsed, they lost their fundings. And uh, at the same time, while the Russians were ahead with this kind of technology in the U.S., in Europe, uh, more uh, studies were, more uh, trials, more results were done, obtained with um, chemical uh, means of fighting bacteria. So, very simply, the te the companies, the biotech companies, the the pharmaceutical companies, um, just took over the whole market of health of um, medicines and cures, and they had their uh, medicines that work, their antibiotics to sell, and you know that's the rule of market. They 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 just were the only ones to have something to sell to the public, and they didn't really want to get into uh, something different because they were they are learn earning sorry a lot of money this way, but you can cure bacteria infections, bacteria infections with viruses. It's very simple. Simple way to do that is that you grow the bacteria that affects you in a petri dish or somewhere and you just okay, grow a lot of it and you just dump it in a big container with everything with just sewage inside and you just wait and you'll find some very viruses from the sewage that are killing those bacteria. Uh, I'm telling things a little bit in a complicated way. What I've seen in a um, documentary that you can search on the web for, I, I, I download it and I, I, I think I don't have the, the, the copyright to the, the copyrights to show it to you. It's a BBC uh, documentary uh, done some years ago that shows these guys in Tbilisi hospital in Georgia, these, these doctors, going to the hospital sewage and picking up bottles, contain, containers of sewage, waters, black waters, I don't know what they're called in English, excuse my English, and um, purifying viruses to cure the bacteria infections that affected people in the hospital. 
So people just went to the bathroom, and uh, and, and they had their their virus, the bacteria, sorry, going to the sewage, and then nature attacked these bacteria. Every living creature on Earth has its enemies. Okay, it's like uh, something to balance out the, the the whole system. It's the way it works. I'm not going to go into how and why it's that way, but just you can assume that that's the way it works. Every living thing has its enemies, and bacteria do have their enemies, and very often they are viruses. Not only, but very often they're viruses, and you will always, always, always find a virus that kills any type of bacteria. Just dump it in the just look in the sewage. You'll find it if people have that bacteria in their urines, in their feces, etc., etc., you will find viruses in the sewage, okay, or in the rivers. And you just purify this virus, and you test it, and you see that it doesn't harm people, and you just spray it, you just, I don't know, inject it, you feed it to the people, and you'll, you will cure them that way. And it's a very cool way, because... It, it's very uh, well aimed to the to the to, to the, the, the the bacteria. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about something done seriously. Okay, I'm not talking about uh, uh, like a cure yourself remedy or I'm not suggesting you to do this. I'm suggesting you to search this. To if you're a financer, finance somebody who does these kind of searches because they do exist. They're not the most uh, financed at the moment, but it's a very uh, effective way to cure certain bacteria. Um, uh, and um, you know, people die of infections still today. People do die because bacteria are very strong, or because some people have a very weak immune system. It's a very uh, common thing to have a weak immune system. Think about people who have a a AIDS. Think about people who have gone have had a transplant, so they have to get immune. Uh, suppressor, suppressors to avoid uh, immune response towards the organ that they had received or from the organ that they had received implanted to their body and think about people who are very old or people who've had uh, chemo etc etc or genetic genetic disorders and I could go on with the list and many people do have uh, immunosuppressions and even if they take antibiotics they, they, they have a hard time fighting bacteria and uh, so why not use this other option or put it you know together with with the uh, with the uh, we with uh, classical and classical for us antibiotics okay viruses are used in labs all over the world and uh, we have the, the the knowledge and technologies to do this and it's done somewhere and I also read that Stalin had his armies uh, equipped in certain scenarios, certain uh, um, divisions, equipped, somebody may correct me, but this is what I read, he had them uh, equipped with uh, a special uh, uh, shot, a special dose of um, virus to fight uh, bacteria infections. So, you know, it's just to, to, to explain the principle. It's something that it's serious. It's not a joke. Okay, you can save life with it. You can save children. You can, oh, I don't want to go into the you know, emotional <laughs> uh, advertising of this. But it's a very cool, cool technology. So, look into it.